Alexis. There is life before I met you, and there is life after I met you. You tapped me on my shoulder that night we met, and little did I know how everything would change once I turned around. In that moment we first saw each other, we both knew that this was going to be something special. Lillian, it was pretty early on that I realized you were it for me. Being together was like breathing, so natural, so effortless. That sweet summer of 2016 completely changed my life. I've never had such a connection with someone, and it felt so certain all at the same time. I closed my eyes and I remember the sun shining through on our faces as we laid in bed and just looked at each other. No words needed to be exchanged. In that very moment, I knew I was falling in love with you. On August 9, 2016, we waved goodbye to each other. While you stood in front of me with all your bags packed, I had tears in my eyes, not sure when I would ever see you again. We only just begun, and 3,881 miles apart didn't seem far, knowing you were on the other side. Like a moth to a flame, you were all I wanted. Next came all the letters, all the hours on the phone, all the laughing, but also all the tears. So many beautiful reunions and so many painful goodbyes. Our beginning was long and sometimes felt like it didn't have an end, but here we are. That summer we met, we barely slept. We'd stay up all night, too excited to go to sleep because there was just so much we wanted to know about each other. And here we are, six years later. We sleep a lot more now, thank God. But we still haven't run out of things to talk about. You have shown me that there is space for someone else in my alone time. You have shown me all the amazing things that can happen when you get out of your comfort zone. You have shown me the feeling of missing someone so much to the point of crying, and also what pure happiness feels like. But what these years have also shown me is how we deal with difficult moments, and I can say with confidence that if it won't work out with you, it won't work out with anyone. I love the person you are so deeply with all your little flaws because I know who you are at your core. You and I don't only have dreams together, but we also make them come true. From traveling the world to getting a puppy, it's easy to get lost in the day to day and forget how special it is what we have. A lasting relationship always requires a lot of care and effort, and that is what we commit to today. To not get lost and continue respecting, admiring, and hearing each other. And continue following our dreams together. Thank you for loving me, even when I made it hard. For holding me when times were dark and supporting me in all my ridiculous hobbies. I know you play a lot of different roles in my life, and it can be difficult, but the fact that a single person can make up for so many absent people is truly something I will never be able to repay you for. You were my home. I didn't realize how much I was missing until I met you, Lillian. Somehow, in a crowded room full of new faces, we still gravitate to one another and pick up a conversation we left off earlier that morning. How haven't we ran out of topics? We ask each other this very often. I can't wait to see what our future has waiting for us. I can't wait to hold our children. To sit on a porch when we're old and gray and still ask, how haven't we ran out of topics yet? Flip through old photos and remember where we started and how we made this work. In my first letter to you, only a few months after meeting you, I wrote, I want to be there for you when you need someone, Alexis, and also when you don't. 
I want to listen to you, support you, and cheer you up when you're angry. When you feel lonely, I want you to know that you are never alone, no matter how close or far I am. I want to make you feel loved and show you that you deserve all the beautiful things in the world. Those were my promises six years ago, and they remain my promises today. I'm often scared of the future, but knowing that you'll be in it makes me calm and happy. It's an honor to marry you, Alexis. Deciding to spend the rest of my life with you is the easiest decision I'll ever make, and I'm a pretty indecisive person. I feel so grateful to stand here today in front of some of the most important people and say with no hesitation that I did, I do, and I will always, always choose you. If I could go back and meet you and do this all again, I would. I love you so much, Lillian, and I'm so proud of how far we've come. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.